So the Void Trader is here again and as always, your new bleeder is here to bring you his recommendations for this cycle. Like always, I would like to say that all the things you hear in this video are just suggestions, but, rest assured that all the advice I gave you aren't just based on my personal preference, but from my experience using the Void items, I will suggest to you what you should get first, or those which are considered to be important but, the choice is always yours whether you follow my advice or not, so, let's begin, first on your must get list should be Prime Flow, almost all Warframes benefit from this energy mod and, it's a must in my opinion, as the energy that it gives your frame, is considerably high compared to the ordinary flow mod, the next item would be a personal preference, or based on what you need the most, if you are keen of using shotguns, then I would go with Primed Point Blank, Primed Ravage would be a good mod choice but, I really hope Digital Extremes also release Primed Blunderbuss in the future. There are a couple of crit shotguns in the game, like Archaplasma and the Vega Heck, but they don't benefit that much from Primed Ravage, because the ordinary Blunderbuss only gives a small critical chance boost. It would take a Riven to see the beauty of Primed Ravage but, there's a couple of things you can incorporate on your loadout, like the Vigilante mod set, or your Adaza Cavat, to get as much critical chance, and utilize Primed Ravage. In the end, the choice is up to you. However, if you are one of those players who would like to have a few platinum for this Void Trader cycle, then I suggest you to get as many of this relic. The Aklex Prime Link is one of the most expensive Prime parts now in the market and in fact, if you can have all parts of the Aklex Prime, then you can sell it for a hefty amount of platinum. Just a friendly reminder, don't sell the parts now, as probably, the prices will drop due to huge supply. Wait a couple of weeks or so, to get the most out of it. Fashion wise, I would definitely recommend the Atmos Achilles, as it really looks good in your operator. Also, the Prisma Edo armor looks really nice in your frame. It's like a shiny upgrade to the Edo armor, which will make you look like a shinobi. Now I would suggest you to get Primed Region. As usually, this mod lets your Sentinel survive for a bit longer. This was really a good mod for me before, especially in long survival runs but, since the Jin Sentinel got its reawaken augment, I don't need this mod anymore for endurance runs. It may benefit other Sentinels, especially if you have a favorite Sentinel that you like taking on sortie missions or any high level missions. The choice is yours, in terms of primed fast hands. To tell you honestly, I don't incorporate this on any of my builds yet, I was using this for my snipers in idle and hunts in the past but, that was way back when the first Terralist was released, and yes, there's an arcane called arcane tempo for snipers, so, it's better to use that arcane, than place this mod which takes a lot of mod capacity, some say that it's good for bows but, I really don't see much of a different, I really prefer damage on my mod setup and for now, I don't have a problem with reload speed, so, I suggest you get this mod when you have the extra resources, you never know in the future, Digital Extremes may release a rifle that needs this primed mod. Primed Morphic Transformer is also optional, and just get it when you have the extra resources. Don't ever think that this mod will help you progress in Archwing Mission, as playing with a friend will be much easier, than leveling this mod. If you have the resources though, and currently mean max in your Archwing, then do get this mod. The Prisma Tetra is an upgrade to the ordinary Tetra but still, it doesn't perform well. You can compare it to the Super Vandal when it comes to how it shoots projectile but, it has lesser stats and performance. Same goes to the Viper Eighth. It's an upgrade to the ordinary Viper, but still, it's not that good. It's like this secondary weapon is copying the performance of Axtelito Prime, but it's nowhere near it. Both of them are mastery rank fodder in my opinion. Prisma Shade is like the shiny version of your Shade Sentinel. I don't have it yet, but I will buy it later, if only this game allows me to, the rest are personal preference and, you can try them out if you have some spare ducats and credits. So, before you leave, I would just like to ask you something, I will be releasing another video, probably tomorrow, and I need your help, no, I won't be begging for money, in my next video, I will be featuring two deluxe skins but, they are unofficial yet. They really look gorgeous and, I would like you guys to watch that video, and share it to the community again. I promise you, the deluxe skins are pretty amazing. So, who are the frames that will wear these deluxe skins you asked? Well, find out on my next video. For now, you can make a wild guess on the comment box below. Also, I will announce the winner of the Vault Prime Access Pack in that deluxe skin video and, I will be doing yet another giveaway. So, be sure to watch it. Thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.